Hi, I'm Nicole with Univest and today we're here to announce the winner of our $5,000 Caring for Community giveaway. We are so excited and we were so inspired by all of the nominations that we got. We received more than 3,800 entries on behalf of 174 local nonprofit organizations. It's really inspiring to see all of the causes and the organizations that the community truly supports. We're really excited to reveal the winner because it ties back to our Committed to Local Philanthropic Giving. This annual giveaway is just one more way we're able to give back and ask you, the community, who we should make the donation to. So, without further ado, let's reveal the winner of our 11th annual Caring for Community giveaway. Finding Shelter Animal Rescue! Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so today we are joined by Grace, who is the founder of Finding Shelter, two of her steadfast volunteers, Steve and Kelly. And of course, we have to have some of the stars of the show, the dogs. And we have um, Lisa and Jovi. And also here's Betsy, our community relations manager from Univest. So Grace, why don't you tell us a little bit about Finding Shelter? How'd you get started? What's your mission? And what does this uh, $5,000 mean to you? Well, first, thank you because this is incredible. We have entered the contest for eight years and we finally won. So a special thank you to everyone who voted for Finding Shelter, our family, our community, everyone who really you know, supported us this year and, and made it happen. Um, Finding Shelter, we founded it 13 years ago on January 1st. We just celebrated wow. our 13th anniversary. Lucky 13. This is called Lucky 13. <laughs> oh. I think this is a good, a good sign to start the year. The year. Um, but we started with a little dog that myself and my husband Steve rescued. Um, his name was Sprout. And he was just intended to come in as a, a hospice dog to our family. And what he turned into was this magical, wonderful, powerful little tiny blind special needs dog who affected so many and touched so many lives. And so we said, well, we, first of all, we can't keep him to ourselves. We have to let everybody know how wonderful he is. And then we have to go other and, you know, save other dogs in his name and in his honor. And so we founded Finding Shelter. We've saved thousands of animals. Um, most of them come from puppy mills, like Lisa and Jovi, who were both breeding moms in Pennsylvania mills. Um, they were voluntarily surrendered to us to end their, their breeding days. Um, this donation is extra special to Jovi because um, Jovi was just diagnosed with diabetes. Aww. And so she needs a little bit more extra expensive care for the beginning of her, her start with us. And so um, donations like this make it, we can breathe a sigh of relief because we don't have to scramble, we don't have to go out and ask for a lot of funds. Um, we're starting with a nice cushion to help dogs like her. Oh, that's fantastic. So what you're doing is really making a difference. It's so inspiring. So if people want to get involved, if they're interested in Kelly or Jovi or want to make a financial donation, what can they do? Well, Kelly is not for adoption as far <laughs> okay. as I know. Oh, she's geez, the human. <laughs> <laughs> To the right well, you're cute enough, Kelly. <laughs> she is our dog trainer, so they can hire her to be their dog trainer. With Lisa the Lisa and Jovi. Lisa and Jovi, yeah. <laughs> I had to just pick on you there. You tried so hard with those names and you did great. Um, but um, Jovi and Lisa are both available at FindingShelter.org. Um, Jovi isn't quite ready yet. We still have to do some more testing and you know keep continue with her insulin to see how she does. But we have lots of other dogs, and we are looking for volunteers. Um, COVID really kind of wiped us out as far as our, our volunteer support. Um, we lost about half of our volunteers, and so um, this year we're bringing back all of our big events like Sprout Fest and an Evening of Compassion. And we want people who want to help animals and who want to, to participate, so we're looking for volunteers as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for entering for the past eight years. I'm, fine, I'm glad it finally paid off in lucky number 13 year of the organization. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the giveaway, made a nomination. We really appreciate how active you are in the communities we serve. And we look forward to seeing you again next year.